Hi Aries, this is your behind the scenes reading for October 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for October 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries. For October 2021, Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for October 2021. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so aries aries these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there is a fish in this cup. So, Aries, love messages and an apology here. Now, you could be sending this out. You can be receiving this from your partner. We could also be finding love messages and hearing the news of someone sharing love. Or this is the news about what love produced. Because there's a fish in this cup and pages are children. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. It is clarified with the five of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Aries, listen, you guys could have been going tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe with one another and someone is wanting to apologize. But Aries, listen, it very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love. And this is causing this back and forth here, okay? When we're dealing with the Five of Swords, this is someone with an axe to grind here, okay? Maybe spiteful, vengeful energy. So we could be hearing some news about um, someone sharing love or finding some type of love messages here that is causing this energy. Aries, you have the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So Aries could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Aries. Clarify the chariot for Aries. Clarify the chariot for Aries. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Aries, it looks like you're making this move because this person calls you a sense of betrayal. Now, this move that you may be making, you like I said, this is spiteful, vengeful energy. So you're avenging this betrayal here. So Aries, listen, what is this? What is this? You want some type of news getting out about you and someone else? We'll see. Aries. You have the magician. <laughs> Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you're trying to manifest, 
trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but Aries, you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Aries. Clarify the magician for Aries. Clarify the magician for Aries. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to you feeling smug or you overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. Now, Aries, listen, I feel like you're trying to manifest feeling smug here because when we're dealing with this Five of Swords, this is spiteful, vengeful energy. You're wanting to get some type of revenge for them causing you this sense of betrayal here, okay? So what is this? Like, yeah. I feel like you want them to find out about someone else or someone else loving you or someone else contacting you or you being in love with someone else. Aries, you, boy, you have the five of swords again. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up and one another. Snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back backstabbing one another this is playing mind games ego tripping trying to win at all costs a bunch of mind games and manipulation like i said yes you guys could have been going back and forth tit for tat tug of war toe to toe with one another aries but i don't know i just feel like you have an axe to grind here clarify the five of swords for aries clarify the five of swords for Aries. Clarify the Five of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but listen, you can tell me that you're happy here because mm -hmm, you struck back. Or you're telling me that something is being illuminated here. Something is coming to light. Clarify the sun for Aries. Clarify the sun for Aries. Clarify the sun for Aries. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. Woo child. Aries. Uh -huh. So listen. <clears throat> you can tell me that something, okay, you can tell me that something was illuminated and there's a rushing in, going off, going ham, passionately with a heated discussion or argument. We're going back and forth here. Or every something is wanting to be illuminated here. Something is wanting to come out and it could be about someone being a player, getting cookies elsewhere. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Aries, listen. You can tell me that, okay, first of all, this person who calls you this betrayal could be coming in trying to apologize to you and you feel some type of way and because you feel some type of way you're blocking communication with them okay but aries i feel like you're out to make an example <laughs> of this person okay 
I feel like you're wanting something to come out and after it comes out, you block them, okay? And what I feel like you want to come out is the fact that you have someone else, that you have someone else, you have someone else. You want them to know that you have someone else. This is the revenge here. Aries, you have the nine of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. Well, yeah, no. Yes, no. Yes, no, no, no. Clarify the nine of pentacles. For Aries. Clarify the nine of pentacles. For Aries. Clarify the nine of pentacles. For Aries. It is clarified with the lovers. I said no. Mm -hmm. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. Listen, could be dealing with a Gemini. Now listen, you can tell me the reason why you're done with this person. This betrayal was because there was another other lover. But Aries, even though you're single, this other lover is coming in the picture, okay? It could just be just <laughs> the illusionist. Listen, it just can be, I don't know, a friend. I, this five of swords is what makes this seem like you're trying to get back at them. They did something, and so in return, you're doing something. Clarify the not, I'm sorry, clarify the lovers for Aries. Clarify the lovers for Aries. Clarify the lovers for Aries. It is clarified with the, shit, man. Told you from the beginning, six of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Aries, like I said, Listen, you can tell me the whole reason why you're single is because it was recognized or brought to your attention that, hey, that they had another other lover. And this is the reason why you want to block them. You don't want to have anything to do with them. They cause you a sense of betrayal. But Aries, listen, you could be bringing attention here, okay? So everyone is seeing that you have another other lover and that you're single. Well, that you're single, but there's another other lover here. That's why I say yes, no, yes, no. Is because you are single from this person, from this betrayal, but you also want this person to know that you have someone else, that you were out getting your groove back here. You're wanting to know, wanting them to know that there's love out here for you, okay? And this is your revenge here. You were trying to manifest feeling smug and throwing something in their face because it caused you a sense of betrayal. So the truth is, you're single from this person, but there's someone else here. And you're trying to let the sun shine on you and this person. Let the sun illuminate the fact that you're dealing with someone else to put it in their face. Pie in the face to this other person that caused you this betrayal. Aries, this is your behind the scenes reading for October 2021. Pie. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.